Hello everybody, thank you so much for joining me here on my channel for another Celestron Origin video. Today we're going to be talking about how to update your Celestron Origin using a USB stick. Now a lot of people have had issues upgrading their Origins firmware, particularly the firmware that is inside of the Origins Raspberry Pi computer. Not the one that's on your app per se, but the one that the Origin actually functions through in the back of the optical tube. Traditionally you'll update your firmware using the app and it automatically downloads the file and installs it for you behind the scenes. And not everybody's origin, including my own, behaves in that sort of way. I myself had to reach out to Celestron Technical Support for some help on this because mine refused to update. And a lot of people have kind of discovered you can go between the beta channel and back to the stable channel and kind of trick the computer into forcing an update for you, but sometimes it's not really successful. So to combat this, Celestron has added a user guide on their website and using an old USB drive you can update your origin in a matter of just a couple minutes. What you're going to need is you're going to need either a Mac or a Windows computer. You're going to need a USB thumbstick. This is just an old one gigabyte stick I had laying around in the junk drawer and you're going to need obviously your origin and between those three parts you got everything you need. Computer and you're ready to download the files to do the side load update you're going to want to insert your USB drive into either your Mac or Windows Windows computer. You're going to want to go to the Celestron website. You're going to want to go under telescopes, find the origin, and scroll down a little bit until you get to these. You're going to click support and downloads, and you'll see right here under the software and firmware, we have the origin core version 1.2.5. 5139 side load. Now this is the firmware, the latest firmware core that is going to be available as the Origin continues to update. Celestron will of course put the most recent version of the core software right here for us. You can click on this, it will download the file to your downloads folder. Once it's finished downloading we can go ahead and open that folder. You'll see that it has three different files in there. It has the Origin SWU file, which this is the actual firmware file for the origin. You have the update text. This basically tells the origin when you boot up to load this firmware onto it. And then you have just an instruction manual. If you just double click this, it'll give you the instruction manual in a couple of different languages just in case you have any questions for this. Now what we're going to do next is we're going to open up the USB drive that we have created for this purpose. I use one only dedicated to this. It's only a one gigabyte stick, super lightweight, you know, in terms of today's world, but it does the job beautifully since this file is only about 250 megabytes. We're just going to basically copy these two, not the instruction manual, but the other two files, and we're going to drag and drop these right over onto the USB drive that we're going to use for the update. Let them copy over. And once those are done, we can eject that USB drive and then go to the next step with the origin. Once you're done transferring those files onto your USB drive, you're going to insert your USB drive into the back of the Origins optical tube in the USB 3.0 port, and you're going to power on your telescope. From here, mine has an LED light on the back of it. You can kind of see it blinking here a little bit. But you're going to basically let it sit here just like this for about 10 minutes. You don't need to connect to Wi-Fi. You don't need to start up the app. You're not going to initialize anything. Right now, it is going through those two files, and it is booting and installing that firmware upgrade for us right as we speak. You're going to want to let this go for about 10 minutes and then you can just come over and power the mount back off and remove your USB thumb drive. After that you can open up your app and see that the newest software has indeed been installed for you. I hope this helps update your Celestron origin from here and also in the future. Thank you so much for joining me. I'll see you next time. Clear skies to you all.